you know, that's the first time I've ever played that on Sunday Soundtrack. And uh, I played that because it was the choice of one of Sunset Jet, who is going to fess up to requesting Rod Stewart. Uh, yes, it's just a, a personal favourite of mine. and It's not every day you get to request a song on the radio, so I thought I'd go for it. <laughs> a personal favourite. Yeah. It's an unusual choice, but it is a cracking song. Thank so, you, you know. So tell us about Sunset Jet then, because you, you originally started as covers, didn't you, doing sort of cover cover bands, and now you're doing these, yes. these wonderful singles. Tell us how you all came together. How did it all happen? Well, Marcus has picked an inopportune moment to grab a drink, but he started it all together, didn't he? Is it, is, is it yeah. because of you? Yeah, I moved to the island in 2017, and I always wanted to start a band, so putting that out on Facebook. Met Jonathan over here. We uh, went to the bath and bottle and hit it, hit it off, <laughs> hit it off. Yeah, <laughs> you clicked. <laughs> we clicked. Yeah. Did you bond over Rod Stewart? We didn't. No. no it, wasn't. <laughs> it was Bombay Bicycle Club that we bonded over. Ooh, in fairness. good choice. <laughs> and then uh, I bumped into Daniel at the Thirsty Pigeon on a night out, and um, we were both quite drunk, and we just fell in love. And he wanted to be in a band, and I wanted to be in a we band. We had so. a great conversation about our mutual love of Foo Fighters. Oh, again, another good influence. No, no. <laughs> my, my love of Foo Fighters. Oh. He just nodded. Yeah, Marcus well, wasn't I, I think he also said he liked Led Zeppelin, so he got off the hook. That's good as well. That's um, good as well. And then, yeah, Dan and Brad have been playing in a band for a while. That, so I yeah. think Dan brought Brad into the fold and we played a first show at like a house party that Dan didn't even turn up to, but it went well people received it well and <laughs> there's a children's drum kit in the corner wasn't there <laughs> yeah it was slightly absurd but it was you know we enjoyed playing together and it yeah took off from there and so so whereabouts did you move over from then marcus uh, i moved over from oxford yeah and and so this is were you playing music in oxford so yeah. what did you make then of this because it's got to be very different coming over to somewhere like the isle of man and getting involved in the scene as in comparison to somewhere like oxford it's hard to say because I think it seems to be burgeoning a bit at the moment. So yeah. it's quite exciting, really. It's good to be, good to be part of. There's lots of really good bands over here, and there's some quite, you know, people like Hannah Fex who you played earlier. They've yeah. got a very, very interesting um, live show. So that's the thing is that that's one of those things that that being at that all day gig yesterday, the variety of music on the Isle of Man is just crackers, isn't it? That's Which brilliant. Is, yeah, it's really good. So, um, so Brad and Dan, what what was the band that you were in before you were part of Sunset uh, we Jet? Didn't, didn't have really a name. have a name. Um, <laughs> it was just starting to get off the ground, um, but I I think it just wasn't really right for us for what yeah. we were trying to do. Brad has basically written quite a few of his own songs, and I think he was always angling towards that. And I was a guitarist beforehand, but I'd conned a few people into believing I, I could play drums. So, um, and these guys are still believing it. Yeah, at least three of us, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, we, yeah, we had a couple of jam sessions, but it just wasn't really kind of, it didn't feel right. And, um, I, well, then. Yeah, you jumped ship, didn't you? Yeah. And then, and then I was like, well, if he's leaving, I'm leaving. And then we came into this next band practice and he was sat at the drums. I was like, I didn't realise you were coming to this. <laughs> small island. Yeah. It is a small island. You can't get away with very much here, can you? Um, so wh- when did you decide then? Because from the sound of things, Brad, you're the, the, the sort of songwriter in the group, are you? Yeah, well, I've, I've been a songwriter for quite a long time. I went across and I was doing it in London for a few years. And then uh, I always wanted to have a band back here to, to write the songs for. So we came back and I think it was literally... We were playing originals at our first gig we did, so it was just a case of like building it up and then getting a bit of money behind us to go and record them. Basically, that yeah. was it. We Which kind of, we kind of intended to use covers as a way of, um, you know, getting it in because it's much easier to get people's attention if you play songs they know and kind of intersperse it with your own songs and. It is, and that's something that you mentioned in that. There's a brilliant article um, on Jeff Mongoose, wasn't there? And uh, all about that, and you're talking about the fact that that is a way in to do covers over here. So when you've been introducing the original stuff, it, it sounds like they're being extremely well received, like the reviews that you hear from your gigs. It, it must it must be really satisfying that. Yeah, it is really good, yeah. It's even better when people like get up and sing along. Some of them are actually mm. starting to learn the words now, but a lot of the time they just like pretend they know the words, which is which is even <laughs> blah, better. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people are very open to, to listening to new stuff here if you yeah. slip it in at the right time. Yeah. yeah. So you've just got to get that whole kind of set sorted out. Yeah. So it's, yeah, which is a tricky thing in itself. Well, we're chatting with Sunset Jet this afternoon. It's lovely to have them with us. We are going to have some live music for them, from them shortly. Uh, I've got another choice from you guys. It's Jade Bird. Brad, I think this is your one, yeah, is it? Tell me about chance, Jade yeah. Bird. Well, Jay Bird, strangely enough, like I heard, I found out about her probably just after I moved back here, but then I was reading a little bit up on her, and in a couple of her songs, 
She says like she used to knock around this uh, bar down in London, which I used to be in all the time. Now I can't remember oh, yeah. seeing her, but I'm, I must have crossed paths with her at some point, and she's now going out with one of my mates from over there and all that kind of stuff. So how funny because yeah. she's doing very well, isn't she's she? She's very well, yeah. Particularly in the states, like she's huge over there. But yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Oh, so. there you go. So personal link, uh, and this is—it's a great. I hadn't heard it, I have to admit, but it's a really good song. This this is called "I Get No Joy." 